Welcome back, everybody, to another Minecraft Mod Showcase. And I'm not going to lie, I haven't done one of these in absolutely ages. This is actually the first one on this new PC, so uh, that's something, I guess. So today we're going to be checking out the Ice and Fire mod. And this mod, basically, if you've ever watched Game of Thrones, it has very similar monsters, well, not monsters, but um, creatures to Game of Thrones, to be honest. Uh, mainly dragons. Dragons are the main theme of this mod, and it is it is super, super cool. Um, there's, like, a bunch of mythical creatures and stuff. I also use this mod in my modded series, if you've ever seen the Emerald Isles on my channel, you'll know that Ice and Fire has a big, big role in that because of the dragons. They're so, so crazy, and they do so much damage, and they're just insane, basically. So, yeah, we're going to jump right in here. So, to kick things off over here, you'll notice that I'm cooking two very special things. Uh, one is a dragon egg, which is on fire, and the other one is a dragon egg, which is in ice. Um, now, there are two main types of dragon in this mod, and um, there's a third one on the way, actually. There's a third one on the way in an upcoming update, but for now, we have two. So, this one is a fire dragon egg, and this one is an ice dragon egg. Now, these two will always fight each other, so I'm kind of worried about when they hatch, if they're just going to attack each other straight away. I don't know, um, but yeah. Basically, this is how you can hatch the different variants. So with the ice dragon egg, you need to put um, eight blocks of packed ice around a block of water, place the dragon egg in the middle, and then eventually it'll freeze over. And that's how you know it's starting to um, begin the hatching process. And with the fire one, you want to place eight blocks of andesite around like this, and a netherrack in the middle, set the netherrack on fire, and then place the dragon egg on that netherrack, um, and then it'll just start to cook. You can, you can tell it's cooking because it'll just like start rotating and stuff. And that's how you know the hatching process has begun for that too. So that's basically how you can hatch both of those kind of dragon eggs. Now, anyway, moving on. There are a couple of different types of dragon eggs, obviously. Um, I'm actually missing one in here. Let me go to the menu real quick. Uh, so, I'm just going to search for them. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the fire dragon has just hatched. Nice. Uh, dragon egg. So, these are all the different types. As you can see, there is a silver one, a sapphire one, a red one, a bronze one, a gray one, a white one, a blue one, and an emerald one. And then we can get the ice ones. So it's four of each, basically. Um, I think the guys are attacking each other, actually, which is kind of worrying. No, I think we're good. Okay, sweet. So these two, I've hatched these two, so they're actually mine, I believe. Um, so, oh yeah, there we go. So I right-clicked them, and now the ice dragon is on my shoulder. I don't know if they'll attack each other, uh, because they're both my pets. But, um, no, they seem to be okay. Perfect. So, um, the, oh, wait. No, they did, they did not. Can I only do one at a time? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Hold on. Yeah, one at a time. Okay, so because they're both my pets, they want to attack each other, which is great. So usually, fire dragons and ice dragons always attack each other, which is kind of a nuisance, but because I own both of these, uh, they're both chill. So these are the different colors of each one. Uh, you can get an ice dragon in any of these colors, and a fire dragon in any of these colors. So, yeah, plenty of variety in these. So, as you can see, uh, if you shift click on shift right, shift right click onto your dragon, your pet dragon, um, as you can see, you can name it. Uh, you can see its health, its gender, um, its its saturation, hunger, whatever you want to call it. You can see the owner, which is me, obviously, um, and you can see how old it is, which is the most important thing because at 50 days old, dragons get to their full length, and that's when they they turn into absolute beasts. Basically, they become huge and they can destroy like anything. They're insane. Um, so there's a couple of different armor slots, as you can see. There's four different armor slots for dragons. So, if we go to, I think it's this one, yeah, we can see there's uh, five different pieces of dragon armor available, or five different variants of dragon armor, um, and they can all be crafted using the assorted blocks. You can check the recipes for yourself with just enough items or anything like that, uh, but basically, I'm not going to cover all those because there's so many recipes in this mod, I'm not going to go through all of them, that would be ridiculous. Um, but basically, they're very expensive to make dragon armor, uh, I will say that much. Look, this, it costs this much gold just to make one of the pieces, that's, yeah, it's very expensive, um, but it's worth it because it gives your dragon so much protection. So, I'm going to grab the diamond one for the uh, ice dragon and I'm going to grab the fire dragon seal one for the uh, red dragon so there we go as you can see he's looking great right now look at that looks fantastic oh my god he looks beautiful um, and we're gonna put the diamond one onto the ice one uh, because he moves a lot doesn't he wow um, okay so they're actually really good swimmers as well which is strange you wouldn't expect dragons to be good swimmers but they're really really good swimmers uh, which is yeah it's something so these are both of our dragons uh, they're looking very well and they hatched very similar times so that means they're pr probably the same age and um, the aging process will kind of happen with both of them so like they will both reach 50 at the same time pretty much and um, yeah they can grow up together which is kind of cool now a really useful item to have is this thing here the dragon bone com or the, the, the dragon command staff and this is crafted using uh, a dragon skull and a stick 
And to get dragon skulls, you obviously have to kill a dragon or find uh, a dragon carcass just left anywhere because they do spawn naturally themselves. You can find skeletons of dragons just left around the land. Um, so if you find the skull off one of those, you can combine it with a stick and get yourself a dragon command staff. And what this allows you to do is, it basically allows you to tell your pet when to stay. So this dragon is now staying exactly where it is. Um, and then you can just right click it basically and it'll toggle between following you and staying still. So I'm going to get these guys to follow me over here if they will ever actually come. Because where's, where did the ice one go? Uh, I have no idea where the ice one went, man. Um, oh, there he is. Okay. I just used the command real quick to, to get them back to me because I didn't know where the, heck the ice one was. Okay, so... I'm going to make him to stay put because we're going to be doing some crazy stuff in a second here. I'm going to make this guy... Wait, why do you love the water so much? Okay, come here. And drop him here and make him stay as well. What? No, don't wander. Freaking... Okay, stay put there. Why does... You're a fire dragon. Why do you love the water so much? This guy's crazy. Okay, and then stay put. There we go. Alright, so those guys are going to stay there for this part because... It's going to get kind of wild. So we're going to go over here for a sec. And I'm going to show you some of the crazy dragons. Okay, so thing you should note is, uh, um, what's it called? When you find a wild dragon, it cannot be tamed, no matter what. It cannot be tamed. You have to hatch it uh, from when it's born. And um, that's the only way to have a tame dragon that is yours. You cannot tame um, a fully grown one, for example. So they can spawn in anywhere between tiny ones to absolutely gigantic ones. So this is a fire one, obviously, because it's green. It's an emerald color. Um, which is very cool. And these two, obviously, as I said, will always attack each other. Now, this one is very young compared to the big one. The big one is very old. You can see, look how much HP it has. The older it gets, the stronger it gets, the more abilities it gets. Um, and the younger ones can't even fly, but the older ones obviously can. So this should be interesting to see who actually wins this because... Obviously, the ice one is much older, has way more HP, but the green one seems to be winning for some reason, which is kind of crazy. Oh, the green one can fly. Oh my god, this is such a cool fight, actually. Oh my god, this is a really cool fight. Oh, he just froze him. He just froze him. Oh, that's nuts. So when they're frozen, they can't fly. That's really, really cool, actually. This is such a well-designed mod. I love it. I actually love this mod. Okay, we're going to spawn a couple more in here. So there's an ice... Oh my god, this is a big ice one. That's, um, that's like a silver one. And he is very old. He is very, very old. Um, the older, the better, as I said. So, yeah. He's going to destroy that poor little green guy. Okay, so I just spawned in another fire one, and look how much HP he has. Oh my god, this is like... This has to be one of the oldest dragons you can get, surely. Look how big he is compared to the ice one. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's taking like no damage. That is insane. Holy... This is so, so cool. I love this. I love watching this. These fights are always amazing. Oh, that's another one of the mobs. We will get to that later. Okay, we just got a red one. I'm going to try to get every color. So we got red, white, gray, uh, light blue. And we got a silver one earlier, I think. And we got a green one earlier. So we got nearly every one. There's bronze. Perfect. And that's the last one, I think. Um, yeah. The royal, we got a royal blue one earlier. Yeah, we did. Um, so that's every color, I think, right? Yeah, pretty sure. That's that's actually silver, I believe. That's silver, and that's light blue. Um, so yeah, as you can see, lots of different dragons, and uh, the older they are, the more the more powerful, basically. Um, and I, I love the fights. The fights are always so cool to watch. Oh my god, it's like a royal rumble for dragons. This is amazing. Well, that was fun. Um, and anyway, so yeah. Over here, as you can see, when you kill each different type of dragon, uh, they will drop uh, that color scales. And you can use that kind of scales to make some very cool armor. As you can see over here, these are all the different colors of dragon armor available. Uh, I'll actually show you the full set real quick. I think it's this one, right? Nope. Uh, nope. Wait. Yep, this is it. Okay. Um, so yeah. Depending on whichever color dragon you kill, you can get that color armor, and uh, they look really, really nice, actually, and they do a lot of protection. Uh, they'll keep you well guarded from anything that tries to attack you, because you killed a dragon for these things, I think you deserve some protection after that. And if you find this, the carcass of a dragon, um, you can also get bones uh, from those, which you can uh, craft into these. And these are dragon tools and weapons and stuff like that, so they're pretty cool. Um, so this is the dragon bone sword, 8 attack damage. Uh, this is the dragon bone axe, which is 10 attack damage. Big axe, uh, the hoe, uh, the shovel, and the dragon bone bow. And there's also the dragon bone flute. And with the dragon bone flute, when a, dra when a tamed dragon... A tamed dragon means that you gave... 
uh, the hatched egg, the purpose to be born, if you know what I mean. Um, when they're flying, that dragon is flying, and you play the, the flute, it will stop flying altogether and fall to the ground. So if you really want your dragon to stop flying, you can use this, I guess. It can be crafted using two dragon bones and an iron ingot. And then there's two very special weapons, depending on whichever type of dragon you kill. So, we have the base dragon bone sword over here, right? So, you can then make this, which is the ice dragon bone sword, or you can make the flamed dragon bone sword, depending on whether you kill an ice dragon or a fire dragon. So, the ice one can be crafted using the regular dragon bone sword, and combining it with ice dragon blood. And this is got by interacting, or just holding right click basically, on a dragon corpse with an empty bottle. And that'll give you the ice dragon blood. You can combine that with the bone sword, and it'll give you the ice dragon bone sword. And same thing with the flamed one. It's literally the base dragon bone sword combined with the fire dragon blood. Uh, so when you hold right click on a, a fire dragon corpse with an empty bottle, it will give you the fire dragon blood. You combine that with the bone sword and you got the flamed dragon bone sword. So this one ignites and knocks back targets and this one freezes targets in place. So yeah, both very, very cool weapons. Depending on if you're, whatever your playstyle is, uh, you can pick whichever one you want. Depending on which dragon you kill too, I guess. But we've talked an awful lot about dragons, so let's move on to some other stuff here. So here we've got some silver armor. So silver is um, a new ore in the game. You can actually find it naturally generated. Um, and you can also get it in villages, I believe, which is snow villages. It's a new village type in this mod. Um, and yeah, so silver is pretty rare from what I know, um, but it's not incredibly rare. You can also get silver from dragon nests. Dragons will be guarding either silver or gold, usually, I believe. And it's in kind of like tile shapes. Oh, I'll show you actually what the silver looks like. So this is what they both look like when they're in dragon nest you can see this is a pile of gold and this is a pile of silver and you can mine these and it'll give you some gold and some silver when you do but beware because there is going to be a dragon guarding them at all times usually uh, so yeah just keep an eye out for those but with the silver, you can get a silver sword, which has 5 attack damage, and it also does 2 extra damage against undead mobs. So, it has smite in a way, and um, so all these have, have 2 extra damage against undead mobs. And they're just kind of, they're similar to stone, but they do more damage to undead, as I said. And um, the armor is okay, it's not great, it's about equivalent to iron maybe, or a little bit worse than iron, maybe chainmail. Um, yeah, but it's just, it's an, another ingot uh, in the game, basically. Now, onto our second mob of this mod. We have the Death Worm. And the Death Worm, when you kill it, it spawns in three variants. And with these three variants, you can craft uh, different armor for each one. And you can also get a Gauntlet, which is... Uh, it's interesting, I'll say that much. And it looks kind of funny. So, this is what the Death Worm looks like. Can you not go on the ground for like two seconds, please? I want to show, show the people. Okay, so this is what the Death Worm looks like. You can get um, different sizes, I believe, of this thing. Uh, yeah, you can get different sizes and three different colors. As I s Oh no, that's really bad. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> okay, put you over here. Give me my fire dragon, please. Okay, put you over here. There we go. All good. No, stay away. I swear to God. Okay, give me a weapon. Back. Back, foul demon. Um, but yeah, that's what they look like. I'm not spawning anymore because they will kill my dragons, and I don't want that to happen because I like my dragons. So yeah, basically, when you kill the Death Worm, they drop these things, which are the uh, the Chitin. I don't know how you pronounce that. Chitin? I don't know. Uh, but whichever color you kill, you'll, it'll drop that color Chitin, or a couple of them at least. And then you can craft the armor. And the armor is actually pretty good, to be honest. It's like the same as Diamond, basically. So it's it's very decent. Um, it's just these guys are really annoying to fight, so that's it makes sense that you would want to get a good loot from that. Um, and you can also get the Gauntlet, which can be crafted using uh, the Tongue. The Tongue is a rare drop from these guys as well. And the regular Chitin. And then... A chain can be crafted using uh, iron cha five iron chain links like this and chain links are just made with iron nuggets so it's cheap enough it looks expensive but it's actually cheap enough so it'll only cost you like maybe um i think a few maybe eight iron ingots altogether and um, so yeah and then you get yourself the gauntlet and the gauntlet looks like this when you wear it uh, it looks kind of interesting and when you right click it like shoots the tongue of the um, the death worm out like that. It's, it's actually kind of cool to be honest. Uh, so I'm gonna get like some random mobs for a second here. Let's get like uh, a bunch of, I don't know, husks. Can I get husks? Where are the husks? All right, let's get a couple of husks here. All right, perfect. So we're gonna wreck like this. Bam, look at that. It like drags your enemies towards you. And then you can just be like, bam, bam, take that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it just looks super cool to be honest. You can just keep going like this. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's just you have range over your enemies, which is always good to have to be honest. You can just, yeah. I don't think there's durability either, so you can just hold down right-click all the time and be like, yep, take that, nerds. But anyway, moving on next, we have the Sea Serpent, and the Sea Serpent is a very, very powerful mob. So, this is what it looks like. It is absolutely massive, as you can see. 
Um, and when you kill this guy, you can get yourself this really, really cool armor, and it's very, very strong as well. So definitely worth getting. Um, you can also get this, which is the Tide Trident, and this thing is insane, to be quite honest. Um, so when you kill the Sea Serpent, you have a chance to get the Sea Serpent Fangs, and you also have the chance to get the Sea Serpent Scales. And there's a couple of different colors of these. Um, and with these scales, you can craft the armor, as I said, whichever color you get from whichever Sea, sea, the sea Serpent color. Um, so I, just, I think I got two teal ones somehow. That one's way bigger. Oh my god. Look at the size of that thing. Jesus. Okay. Um, there's also smaller ones like that. I'm not getting... There we go. It's a different color. I kept getting teal ones for some reason. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Wow. Uh, but yeah. Depending on whichever color you kill, you can get that color uh, scale. And then you can craft... Uh, wow. They look so cool, actually. Um, and then you, Are they going for the dragons again? I swear. No, the dragons are safe, right? Yeah, okay, the dragons are safe. He would have to go on land, and he can't do that, so we're fine. Um, <clears throat> so whichever color scale you get, you can craft the color armor, so I'm trying to say. And then you can also get the trident by crafting uh, with the teeth. So, can I... He's, he's, his hitbox is taking up the thing. There we go. So I'm going to grab the tried, the tide trident, and it's going to be crafted using two of any color scales, one dragon bone, one diamond, and three of the sea serpent fangs. Uh, you can get the fangs by killing them, obviously. So, yeah, we're going to just hold down right-click here, and... As you can see, you can throw the trident. Uh, so it's similar to the 1.13 trident, but it's not identical. Because this model is actually made 1.12, um, which was before the trident actually came out. So it makes sense that the, it's not the exact same trident, uh, but it's still really, really cool. There's a lot of damage, and it just, it just looks amazing. I love the texture on this thing. It looks fantastic, to be honest. So this guy is huge, and he's got so much health. Can you please... How much damage does it? It doesn't even do much damage. Um, it's just more of a ranged weapon. It does, like, no damage from uh, close range. But it does, like, 20 from long range. He has so much health. Why? There we go. Oh, my God. It took forever. Um, so, what did we get here? We got 30 fangs? We got 30 sea serpents. Wow. Okay. Um... So, as you can see, it, like, I'm pretty sure in uh, survival mode, this thing's only one-time use. You have to go collect it after you throw it, which makes sense. So, with 30 fangs, you can craft a lot of them, though. And then you can just literally use those and spam them at enemies, which would be really, really cool, to be honest. So, those are the sea serpents, and the sea serpent are what's called the... Um the Tide Guardian armor, and the Tide Trident. Um, so those are really, really cool. I love that set. It looks really... Actually, I'll show you the set for a quick second here, because it looks fantastic, actually, when you throw it on. Look at this. I look like Aquaman on steroids. I look fantastic. It's a bunch of, like, freaking gills and stuff coming off the armor. Oh, it looks so good. So next up, we have some of the less flashy stuff, but um, it's still it's still very, very strong, so you definitely want to get it. Uh, it also has minus 30% projectile protection, uh, so you take 30% less damage from projectiles on each piece. So the mob you can get these from is the troll, and there's three different types of troll. There's a forest troll, a frost troll, and a mountain troll. So we're going to spawn this in here, um, and this is what he looks like. He's very disgusting looking. Oh, he also turns to stone in daylight. I forgot about that. And um, yeah, I have to fix that real quick. Okay, so this is what they look like. They look absolutely hideous. Uh, so you kill them. Kill them fast, please. Um, and when they die, they will drop these. Uh, so they've dropped the troll leather. And they'll also drop some random stuff like cobblestone and mushrooms and sticks, like some weird stuff. But what you want is the troll leather. That's what you need to craft the armor. Um, and it is very good. Oh, you can't kill him when he's in stone form. Didn't know that. Okay. So he's just immune, basically, which is whatever. Um, but yeah, once you get the whichever color leather or whichever type of leather, you can craft that armor. Um, and then you get yourself some really, really nice armor. It's very, very strong. It doesn't look great, but it's very, very strong. As you can see, this is, <laughs> oh my god, I'd click an elephant or something. This is great. Um, but yeah, it's very good armor. It just doesn't look great, to be honest. All right, I'm moving on. We've got some of the really strong stuff in this mod. We got the dragon steel uh, sets. So there's an ice dragon steel set. The ice dragon steel set. Wow, it's hard to say. Um, and a fire dragon steel set. Um, so <clears throat> it's actually kind of difficult to get both of these. You have to find an ice forge or a fire forge or something like that. And then get an ice dragon or a fire dragon to breathe on them. And I believe that gives you the ingots when they do that. So it's very difficult to get the ingots for this, which is the ice dragon steel ingot and the fire dragon steel ingot. But if you manage to get enough of those, you can craft this armor. I think it's actually the best armor in the mod, as far as I know. Um, let's just see here for a second. Just bleat. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is the best armor. Uh, it's plus 9 and plus 6 armor toughness. Yeah, this is the best armor as far as I can see. Yeah, this is the best. 
both of these are the best. The two dragon steel sets are the best. Um, and the sword's also insanely, insanely strong for both of them. So the dragon steel sword has 95, or not 90, 25 attack damage and it freezes targets. And the dragon steel sword has 25 attack damage and it ignites and knocks back targets. So both very, very strong. There's also the axes, which have um, 27 damage each. They also uh, light them on fire and knock them back and set them, or freeze them, I mean. Um, and they have more damage, but a slower attack speed, like the same as vanilla Minecraft, basically. Um, yeah, and the armor also looks incredible when you wear it, by the way. So let's just throw this on. And oh my god, it looks fantastic. It looks like an actual dragon or something. And now moving on to the rest of the mobs in this mod. So it's just a few smaller ones. I've gone over the main stuff, I would say. So we have the Snow Villager, the Pixie, and the Hippocampus. These are all the passive mobs. Uh, this is what the Snow Villager looks like. He looks great. He's just like a fisherman with a spear. And he trades uh, sapphires, which can be found in your world generated. And um, you can also trade for them. Um, and they, they trade like a bunch of random stuff for sapphires, basically. That's their currency. It's their equivalent to emerald sapphires. So yeah. And then there's Pixies. Pixies spawn in these little guys. There's like Pixie Villages. And they... they they have these little structures in them. This is what pixies look like. They can spawn in four different colors, I think. There's like purple, pink, orange, green, maybe blue as well, I think. Uh, something like that. But yeah, uh, they spawn these little villages thingies. They also spawn uh, what's called the villagers spawn in dark forest biomes. Um, and they live in these. As you can see, the one just went into one. Uh, so yeah, they, they're very passive. They'll just wander around, do funny stuff at nighttime. Yeah, I don't know, man. And next up, we've got the hippocampus. And this guy just kind of wanders around the water. It comes in six different colors. Um, and yeah, it can be tamed actually. So you can use sponge to tame these. Uh, if you can, you can just right click them basically. And um, as you can hear him eat. And then you can put a saddle on these guys. Wait, come on, let me, let me get on. Let me freaking, you're tamed, aren't you? I gave him the, I gave him the sponges. There we go, okay. So you can right click this guy. Why can't, let me on. There we go. Okay, so you have to shift right click on these guys. And then you can put the saddle on them. And then you can just hop on whenever you want. Yes, now I own you. You're mine. Oh, they're so fast in water. This is incredible. So they spawn in oceans and deep oceans. And look how fast they go. Holy crap. Um, so I want to see their inventory again real quick. Uh, so you can put chests in. You can put armor on them as well. Uh, which I think it's just horse armor you can put on them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the saddle, obviously. And chests for storing. Like, the same you do with a mule or a donkey. You can put chests in them just to carry your stuff around with them. So it's, it's very, very cool like that. They're really, really slow on land. But as you can see, they're incredibly speedy in water. So they're really, really cool. No point killing them, honestly. They're passive. Completely passive. They don't hurt humans. Um, they won't attack you no matter what. So there's just no point attacking them. They're really just friendly. You want to you tame these guys, put a saddle on them, and you're good to go. Uh, next up, we have the Hippogriff, and the Hippogriff looks like this. It's basically like, um, uh, what's the word? Like a Gryffindor, I think? Um, if you have seen Harry Potter, you'll know what I mean. Uh, it's basically like the flying bird kind of um, horse-looking thing. It's really complicated to explain, but this is what it looks like, basically, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it spawns in six different variants. Um, can I get a different one, please? What? Why is it all the same one? What the heck? Okay, whatever. Dude, the villagers terrified of these. I don't know. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Watch this. Dude, he's so scared of them. He's like, oh no, it's a big bird. Oh no. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's because I'm spawning them in desert biomes. They're only this color. Uh, as far as I can see anyway, that's the only solution I can come up with. Uh, but these are tamed a bit differently to other mobs. What you have to do is you have to drop uh, rabbit's feet, actually, as their food source, onto the ground in front of them. Uh, it says usually one to five is enough. So can one of you, like, take the feet, please? Drop it. Come here. Come here. Psst, 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 psst. Come here, big birdie. Okay, you, you, yes, you will take my rabbit feet. Yes, perfect. Here, have another one. Have another one. Take another. Oh, is he tamed already? Is he already? Oh, do I, need, do I need a saddle? Hold on. I did this before and it was fine. I didn't need a saddle last time. Wait. Here, take the take the rabbit feet. Take the feet. There you go. Eat up. Eat, eat the feet. What are you doing? Are you tamed or not? Nah? What? There we go. Okay. I uh, have to shift right click on him again. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now the hippogriff is mine. And they are very fast when they fly. Um, they're not as fast as dragons, obviously, but they're still very, very fast. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'm on a big horse bird. No one can stop me now. And these, of course, can be equipped with chests and armor slots, the exact same as the uh, hippocampus. Um, so, yeah. That's another tameable mob in this mod. And the next mob here is the amph... Uh, amph... Oh, Jesus. Amphithere? Theory? I don't know how to say that. It's really hard to say. Uh, but this one's, like, really difficult to tame because you have to chase it around and then right-click on it. And um, if you, I was in survival mode, I'd be getting attacked by it right now. But because I'm in creative, uh, it can't hurt me, so I'm fine. Oh, there we go. Now he's doing the attack thing. 
Um, so as you can see, he's now attacking me, which means he's trying to get me off. Uh, but because I'm in creative, I'm immune to his attacks, so I can just send his back anyway. And eventually he should tame, but he does a lot of attacks. So just make sure when you're taming him, you have a lot of armor and stuff. And make sure to like, follow his head properly and all that stuff, because, yeah, he'll attack you otherwise. Yep, there we go. I got the heart particles. He is now mine. I can steer where he's going, and we're good. Everything is Gucci. And um, so how do I go? Oh yeah, you have to like steer your cursor down to make. Yeah, now I remember. Perfect. Okay. Um, as you can see, incredibly fast, uh, but like really bad steering because he just kind of goes wherever. Um, but yeah, he's so so fast, like ridiculously fast. Look at this. Like there's, there's just no stopping me now. I'm on this big pigeon. And that, I believe, is the last tameable mob in this uh, mod. So, yeah, the, the two ones, the two neutral mobs are the am Amphitheory or whatever, and the Hippogriff. Um, now we're moving on to the fully aggressive hostile mobs, um, and these guys are pretty crazy, I'll be honest. So, the first one we've got here is the Gorgon, and this is like Medusa from um, the old um, mythical tales, like the legends. Um, so, you know, like, travelers would go into her cave or whatever and try to slay her, and she'd just, like, look at them, and they turn to stone. That's basically what this person does. Um, so if I was in survival mode here and she looked at me, I would turn to stone. I'll demonstrate it real quick, actually. I don't really want to, but I'll do it. Um, so basically, if you look at her, she does that, and I turn to stone. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's something. But you can counter that by using a blindfold. And the blindfold is crafted using two string and one leather. If we put this over our eyes, it gives us blindness three. So we are immune to her uh, gaze, at least. Um, and we can just kind of just go like, bam. And we can take her down. We can take her down. Keep in mind, I'm wearing no armor, too. So she won't actually... I don't think she has any physical attacks, but she does have poison. Um, and when you kill her, you get the Gorgon head. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't realize you could do that. So you can actually use the Gorgon head to turn some mobs to stone. So I'm going to use this on the... Oh, the poor guy. The poor, poor guy. That's actually really overpowered. Wow, okay. Um, so I can turn mobs to stone with this head now. That is very, very cool, actually. Next up, we've got the Cockatrice, and this thing is the most annoying creature ever. Um, oh my god, look at it. It looks, it looks disgusting, man. It's some nasty-looking chicken velociraptor thing. Oh my god, stay away from me. And um, these were in my series... Um, or no, no, these weren't, the Stymphamillion bird was, I hate those things, but these are freaking nasty, look, oh, look at these things, they're freaking disgusting, to be honest, they're so, so fast as well, um, so what you see, when you see these things, you want to just kill it, you want to just take it down, eat, eat the lovely cooked chicken, because they're disgusting, get rid of them as fast as you can, and next up is the Stymphamillion bird, and these things spawn in like 20 flocks at once, and they will just hunt any passive mob, they're the most aggressive things ever, look at this poor villager, you look at him dodge, look at him dodging though, he's insane, Okay, let's, let's save them, let's save them. Let's save them, let's save them. No, no, don't kill them, don't kill them, no! Yeah, I hate these things so much. Uh, when you kill them, they'll drop their feathers, and these can be used uh, to make the Stymphamillion Bird Feather Bundle, which is, just launches feathers whenever you shoot them. Uh, it can be used for the dagger and the arrows. You can go look at, your, look at it for yourself. There's so much in this mod, I'm not going to go over everything. Um, but yeah... You can use the feathers for cool stuff, uh, but the birds are just super annoying, and I hate them, because they would follow me. I, I had an airship in my modded series, and there was like 50 of these things just following me around for like 10 minutes. It was the worst feeling in the world. Next up, we have the Siren, and we also have the Cyclops. The Siren spawns um, on little rock pedestals in water, in deep ocean biomes, I believe. Um, and these things are so ridiculously overpowered. So what they do is, they sing, and uh, the idea is that they attract sailors or whatever um, with their voice, and then they suck them in, um, and then they kill them with their hideous face. So they look they look nice, okay? They look nice, I, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure. But um, when you're in game on zero, hold on. It, it gets a bit it gets a bit crazy. So like you're like oh look there's a there's a pretty pretty mermaid looking thing right this is, a, this is a pretty mermaid and then you go over and you're like oh hey how you doing and then she she just goes like hey hey how you d why is she not singing why why is she not singing yep that's the attack one that's the attack phase and then they just like they just suck you in and then they just beat the crap out of you pretty much um yeah they're very evil so I believe they actually nerfed the um. These guys, since uh, I started my modded series, because they used to suck you in from like 10 years ago. Oh, now they're doing it again. Okay, so the voice, the singing voice, I'm not doing anything. I'm not touching my keyboard right now. They're just sucking me in. And oh my god. Ah, okay. So yeah, if you see sirens, just 
just steer clear away honestly they're the worst things ever um they are ridiculously overpowered i'll be honest they can suck you in from like insanely far away so you can't even escape them properly and if there's a big group of them they will suck you even harder and you go flying towards them and they like two shot you they're so in they're just broken i'll be honest and the final mob of this mod is the Myrmex. Meyer, Meyer, um, I think that's how you say it at least. I hope. I really hope. Um, <clears throat> so, they come in five different variants. You got the Worker. Uh, you got the Soldier. Yeah. Um, you got the Sentinel. And why are they attacking each other? Why are they attacking each other? Hey man, whatever. They look disgusting. I don't care. Uh, why is he like climbing on the face? Why the heck? What is happening there? What the heck are they doing? Yikes. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know why he attacked the sentinel, that was very strange, um, but yeah, the, for some reason, I guess they don't get along, I have no idea. There's also the royal and the queen, uh, the royal looks like this, it can fly I think, I'm pretty sure it can fly, um, and then there's the queen, which is just massive, and it climbs underground, and I don't think I can get that back now at all, which is very worrying, because it can just pop up anywhere. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's a good thing the showcase is finished. This is why I hate these things. This is why. So the queen will basically make a nest, and then, yeah, there's a bunch of these things now. This is where the queen is. Yeah, she came down here, and then just made, like, a massive nest with, like, a bunch of holes going up to the surface. Oh, my... Yeah, this is this is why you hate these things. They're, they're disgusting. Okay, so they just randomly attack each other. Good to know. Um, so, yeah, five different variants. All very disgusting. When you see these things, you want to just kill them. They will drop tools, the worker ones. Um... Yeah, just... If you see them, just squat them. Squat them like a fly, because that's what they are. So, obviously, I didn't cover everything in this mod. There is so, so much in it, but I tried to get as much as I possibly could. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do so much editing, because I have, like, 45 minutes of footage or something stupid like that. Um, <laughs> it's a big mod, I'll say that much. It's a big mod, and it's so, so cool. This is my top five mods of 2019. Um, I love this thing. It has so much in it, and the dragons are the best part, in my opinion. They are just so, so, so cool. Um, I didn't even get to cover the whole combat with the dragons, because they do have to grow up a lot more for you to use most of the abilities. But as you can see, even now my dragons are growing up a little bit, because uh, they have more health points, which means they are a bit older, um, and I have to feed them to get the health points up fully, so, yeah. Um, but hopefully you can go and explore the dra there's a wiki page, basically, uh, for this whole mod, it explains everything you need to know, um, I'm not going to cover everything, there's also a new update for this mod coming very soon, um, and it's going to have a lot more stuff, a lot more creatures, there's going to be like a hydra and a kraken, I think, which I'm so excited for, um, but for now, that's going to cover it for this showcase at least. I'll do an update on one in the future if they do release that new update um, at some stage, which I hope they will. I hope they will. I really hope they will. But yeah, for now, this is what I'm going to do for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching this incredibly long mod showcase. I hope it's edited down some way uh, because the recording took forever. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, that is the Ice and Fire mod. If you want to go download it, it'll be in the description down below. Um, you can go check it out there and uh, enjoy the mod for yourself. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.